Hi. The two stories we read this week are important um, to modern culture because they are still relevant. People can still act like that today. Um, evil is always still a temptation. And even if we have good intentions or motives, we can still miss the mark, even in our own hearts and minds. Um, I think the people that need to read these stories still are definitely Christians. Um, it, especially Flannery O'Connor's story kind of slaps a lot of modern day ideologies in the face a little bit. Um, and evil allures is just an all around great story to keep in mind when faced with a selfish ambition or temptations of any kind over good and also a great lesson about the master and how he overcomes his desire to be angry and succumb to the devil so um the stories are beautiful well i i love flannery o'connor's style of writing and her diction that she uses is very beautiful. The way she describes things, her imagery um, is very beautiful. Um, you can just picture the sunset in the end and when all the souls are going to heaven. And um, I had fun reading that one. I had a lot of fun. Um, also, you can read between the lines and hers a little better. It's not so direct. And I really feel like that leaves it open for more of a personal experience, which is also very beautiful. Um, Evil Allures is beautiful in its own way as well because it is direct and it doesn't leave much room for interpretation and it does spell it out for you, which can be really beautiful in a different way. Um, I also enjoyed reading that one, but it did almost make me want to cry when he broke the legs of the ram. I don't I don't know why, but um even pain and suffering like that can also be beautiful, especially if it teaches you lesson and throws you out on the other side a little bit brighter and shinier. So both of these stories were really great and I enjoyed reading both of them. So thank you.